Well, one final segment here on the Ram Report as we continue to look back at that 2011 Ram football season. I'm your host, Brian Roth, and well, with each and every football year, you never know how many wins, how many losses the Rams will have, or who the star players will be, but there is one constant with Colorado State Ram football. It's the traditions. Come on, get your buns over here. Let's go, let's go. Get your buns over here. It was the 30th annual Ag Day on Saturday morning prior to kickoff between Northern Colorado and Colorado State, and the Fort Collins community came out in full force to enjoy all of the festivities. The scents of fresh air, vine-ripened melons, and barbecue beef, pork, and lamb has continued to keep folks coming back since the first celebration in 1982. Ag Day gives Colorado ranchers their opportunity to showcase the state's agricultural industry through the event, which highlights Colorado-grown foods and goods while raising money for scholarships. Over 3,500 people gathered outside of Hughes Stadium and most certainly did not go home with an empty stomach. Tom Field, executive director of Producer Education and member of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, is a CSU graduate and former professor in animal sciences. His love for Ram athletics found Dr. Field on the sidelines, giving pregame talks and offering up his hair for conference championships and wins against Wyoming. Dr. Field has continued to be a supporter of school tradition and Ram pride, in addition to being an Ag Day expert. Well, Ag Day is really a celebration of the agricultural businesses in the state of Colorado and a celebration of Colorado State University's land-grant heritage. Imagine a family reunion for a, a family of about 100,000. That's really what uh, happens at Ag Day and uh, people get fed really well. All the great commodities produced in the state of Colorado, everything from beef to lamb to pork, um, all the great fruits and vegetables that are produced in this state as well, entertainment and all leading up to a great game. And if you leave this event hungry, uh, then, then you've got an appetite that just can't be satisfied. There we go. Outstanding. Oh, those beans are super. Can I to barbecue on those? You bet. There you go. Go Rambies. Yeah, we ought to get this one. So it's a great opportunity for people to get together, to come to, to, together as a community, and then to cheer the Rams on with victory over the Bears. Homecoming weekend at Colorado State University has become a celebration that unites the campus with the Fort Collins community and alumni. It's a time to commemorate the, the greatness of this university and it all starts with the people. It's a lot of fun to reminisce with people who were in school at the same time I was. The weekend's homecoming festivities kicked off with the annual CSU homecoming parade, which saw over 90 floats this year. But the celebration's going to continue on into the night with the bonfire and pep rally. Ram pride could be seen all over campus, and the weekend no doubt created a buzz within the CSU community. Once the Aggie A was finally lit, the weekend was capped off with a boom. Over the years, the bonfire, pep rally, and fireworks has become a big part of the celebration. Once the weekend was all said and done, Al reminded us what makes CSU so special to those of us who know it best. Colorado State is probably the best kept secret of, of all the universities in Colorado. For the Ram Report, Andy Morgan. The CSU Air Force rivalry is always a great game. It goes, goes back, the first game between the two institutions was played in 1958. Since 1980, uh, we've played for the Ram Falcon Trophy. Air Force and CSU have uh, been playing uh, football for about 50 years. In fact, I think this year is the 50th uh, match. The Ram uh, Falcon Trophy is, is something that, that we play hard for every year. It's, it's an in-state rival. It's fun for the fans. It's fun for the players. The rivalry developed simply because of the respect that Sonny and I had for each other. Uh, there's no coach on our schedule in the whole time that I was at the academy that I had any more respect for than Sonny Luger. That really became probably 
one of our top two rivalries. For some reason, we had some real close battles. They were good football games. I got to really be uh, friends with Fisher. I've always respected him. You kind of forget the wins and the losses, and but the thing you remember is just the relationship with your ones with our players. But then with Fisher being a class, classy guy and great football coach. Sonny was always positive about our program. We were always positive about his program, and we meant it uh, from our hearts. That uh, you know, it's the way it's the way college football ought to be. More than anything, it's just good competition to teach these young men about lessons of life that they're going to face down the road. I don't think you need to to look any further than the relationship of of Sonny Lubick and Fisher DeBerry. I mean. Great respect for each other, great rivals. They, they really epitomize this rivalry where you, you try like heck to beat them, but, but you always respect them. Since 1968, the bronze boot run has become a tradition carried on by both Wyoming and Colorado State's Army ROTC battalions. The Bronze Boot Trophy is a U.S. Army combat boot covered in bronze and serves as a traveling trophy that is exchanged between schools for the annual football rivalry winner. Few fans at both schools realize the history behind this famous boot. The tradition coincided with the opening of Hughes Stadium in 1968. Dan Romero and Major Vic Fernandez came up with the idea to bronze a combat action military boot from the Vietnam War. Wyoming cadets run to the border, or uh, vice versa from uh, CSU, CSU Army ROTC cadets run up to the border and we run the game ball uh, from one stadium to the other. We run this ball in remembrance and honor of the men and women who are fighting to protect us and keep us free. It's an opportunity for CSU Army ROTC cadets to be a part of something that's bigger than ourselves. The boot run has undeniably become one of college football's longest standing traditions this side of the Mississippi. The 39 mile run back to Fort Collins and Hughes Stadium is something these ROTC cadets take immense pride in and the long road ahead is Highway 287. This is a great tradition and I think it's particularly a great tradition that we honor the service that the men and women in the ROTC and in the military provide to us um, and having the cadets from the University of Wyoming show up with the football and hand it off to our cadets and run it into Fort Collins is a fantastic tradition and I just think it's one of the better things that goes on in college football. Just under six hours after receiving the game ball on the border, the battalion arrived at home where they presented it to the football team. Running the game ball, it was, it was an honor to go the whole 39 miles with my boys and uh, the Ram Battalion did very well. We uh, beat our timeline by an hour, we ran it like champs and uh, I owe a lot of thanks to all the coaches and athletic department who came out and supported us. The final tradition associated with the boot comes when the game clock hits triple zeros at the border war. Players hoist the boot high in the sky and parade around the stadium with what's rightfully theirs, the bronze boot. For the Ram Report, Andy Morgan. Oh, the bronze boot, one of the great all-time trophies in college football. Well, that wraps up the Ram Report here. Coming up in January, we'll shift from football and we'll talk some basketball. CSU women's basketball coach Kristen Holt, she'll join us on the 3-2-1. Oh, the bronze boot, one of the great all-time trophies in college football. Well, that wraps up the football portion of the Ram Report. But don't worry, we'll be back coming up in January to talk some Colorado State Ram basketball with CSU men's basketball coach Tim Miles and, of course, women's basketball coach Kristen Holt. That'll do it from here. Thanks for joining us on the Ram Report. Join us again next time for more Ram action.